The Stories Numbers Tell, Making Sense of Numbers and Arithmetic Operations. Welcome. Most people call me Miss Sue, and I've put together these slideshows and activities. I firmly believe that math shouldn't hurt. These are mostly about what I call number sense, which is understanding what numbers and equations mean. It's especially for people who find working with numbers frustrating or stressful. Humans have this thing about symbols because we can think at higher levels. So when we see a little red ink, it can make us feel good because of what it symbolizes. Math is all about symbols. It's a language with numbers and symbols like plus and percent instead of words. But what about the meaning? Unfortunately, it's too easy to lose track of what math means when things get too long, too complicated, too abstract, too fast. Not because you can't understand it, but because you don't know how to make sense of it yet. When it loses its meaning, but you have a test on it, math can symbolize something impossible to get across. But maybe, with a little help, that's me in the red, red jacket thinking it was going to be impossible to get across that rock. We'll break it down. There are rules for calculating with numbers. They're like rules for spelling. They're important. However, just as spelling doesn't tell you what words mean, calculating doesn't tell you what arithmetic means. We won't ignore the calculating, but we're going to focus harder on understanding what's going on. So what will we cover here? This is in the syllabus. First, an important big idea from math, the relationship of parts to wholes. Understanding this can help with understanding just about everything else in math. We'll explore the concepts of adding and subtracting in ways you might not have thought of. We'll introduce adding positive and negative numbers. We'll extend the ideas of adding, multiplying, and division to help understand fractions. And finally, we'll take a look at what happens when we include variables in the process to solve equations like x plus 2 equals 4. The goal is for you to be able to use these ideas every day and be able to understand more advanced math ideas better, especially if you take a higher level course better later. I'm not finished making the course yet. The classroom version of this course has been going on for several semesters. The online version will have teaching videos, practice, feedback, discussion. Since it's online, it will also have lots of places where you can decide which parts of the course you want to explore. If you want to know more about something, either to break it into smaller pieces or take it to a more advanced level, we'll be adding that in. It's your course and your path. So let's learn some math. There's no reason for it to be dull. Meet Gravity, who's in charge of the Mary Ellen Carter Academy. Of course we have a blog, mecacad.wordpress.com. It's moderated. Nothing will appear to the public unless Gravity approves. Gravity says please, please give it a try. The next movie is Parts and Holes.